What is up everybody, it's Hubbalubaloo back with another video and you were probably thinking to yourself if you are one of the Nintendo Switch collectors, what the hell are you doing dude? I can't believe you're about to open this and the others who are just tuning in, this is one of the rarest if not the rarest games on the Nintendo Switch I would say. Just by compatibility of demand and supply, um, this goes for about 100 to $200. I'm just rounding out because I've seen some go for uh, mine, which I got actually for about $90. And then I've seen some for an average go for about 125 to 150 So we'll see what gets into this. But there's a lot into this first limited run games. I'm really excited to get into it. And thanks to uh, King Koopa for pushing me to actually find some... Uh, I'm going to pop it open right here. The uh, letter opener that I'm actually going to have. And this is actually one of the most expensive unboxing I'm doing right now. And I kind of consider this uh, uh, an overlook for the, uh, the Pixel... Uh, whatever that game was. Pixel Collector. I, I don't know. Whatever it was, their uh, new Nintendo Switch game. Oh my god, this is so... Oh, see, like, none of their new boxes are, like, actual, like, print boxes and everything. This is so... Oh, it's so nice, man. Like, that, that nice feel. All of them come in cardboard now. I don't know why they switch it. Probably because they don't make enough money anymore. But uh, that's just me saying something. But this is probably the coolest box other than i'm pretty sure the outlast one's gonna be pretty good that we're gonna be getting oh my god i actually just spit on top of my camera thank god you guys didn't see but i'm trying to open it up so you guys can see right on top and we got a lot happening too by the way oh we're just gonna do this really quickly the uh two little cards that they sent in thimbleweed park they have the uh sign and then they have the uh, thimbleweed park cast and to talk about the game if you guys actually didn't know about the game it is a nice point-and-click storyline kind of game. And uh, here's a map of the <laughs> Thimbleweed Park and what happens actually there. And you're a detective and you try to figure out what happens and everything like that. And you, uh, uh, I'll show it to you later, but we'll try to get most of this stuff out right now. Um, let's see. It came with a lot of stuff. It came with the map, the Visitor's Park uh, newspaper... And then a giant book on top of a, a bunch of other stickers that I'll show you in a sec. And then uh, the game itself on top of a bunch of other stuff. So I'm kind of glad that I could get to open this one of the first ones that uh, Limited Run Games came out with. Because it shows how much they actually put like time into this game. I actually, not to be harping on anyone who doesn't have this, I actually have this physical by itself. And I was really excited to get a collector's edition, so I'm going to do that. And we're going to put the box up here so you guys can see that on top of everything else. Because the box itself is good for the money. There you guys go. And so we're going to get into the game. Let's see. Let's do the... I guess... Yeah, we'll do the map now. Yeah, we'll do the map first. Okay, we'll do the map and the newspaper because I can get those out of the way. Okay, so we have the uh, newspaper first, which is actually the article that got him into the game. We'll show this all first. Do front and back. Um, I'm not even reading it, so I don't even know what it says. I'm probably crinkling it up at the same time. I'm kind of not excited to read this newspaper, but it adds a little more character into the storyline. So the game itself, actually, I'm really excited about it. It's a lot more adult than most people would uh, expect. Um, if you played their earlier games, which are somewhat... Uh, not their earlier games, but like more are uh, their point-and-click uh, related kind of games. They're a lot more adult type and if you watch the trailer, you can see it itself. This is the map of the whole place where you go around surrounding uh, finding clues and stuff about the storyline. You don't really know what's happening yet either in the story. They just tell you that something happened and you're like the person that goes out and finds out whatever is happening. But uh, I heard it's actually a pretty fun game. Not the greatest game in the world, but I think it's because it's such like a raunchy kind of game on top of like all the art it has. Um, it, it came out pretty well. Okay, so I just showed you the map and the calendar. And now we're going to get into the actual post-its, which are just actual post-its that they hand you that you can tell right there. It says the official post-its, the Thimbleweed Park Speck of Dust. 
Um, I have no idea why we have those, but they came with these awesome stickers. I do have to say these are probably some of the coolest stickers I've gotten. Thimbleweed con, con, con. Thimbleweed con. Wow. Um, Diggin and uh, Abu, which is uh, another cool one. But uh, definitely coolest one right there, Thimbleweed con. Um, I like that. They just add more stuff to it. And then finally, the Thimble phone book pages. So apparently, we're going to do a lot of calling in this game. Um, you can just see, like, like, all these... Just... What? It's literally just... Characters. Just characters or people? Just... So we need this for the game. Okay. Okay. I see you get more intricate, guys. Okay. Okay. If you guys have uh, any comments about what I'm supposed to do with this fucking book, please tell me because I have no idea. But uh, we're going to get into the opening of the game, which also has another color manual, which everybody knows that I love because I love color manuals and the remembering of all manuals possible. Again, thanks to uh, King Koopa for uh, pushing me towards the uh, letter opener. I will forget my scissors in the past so I don't have to uh, worry anybody about wrecking the boxes or the, uh, the games themselves. But let's get into this game because I am super excited. I haven't even opened the actual game I have for this one. So I don't know what the color manual is. Ooh. Damn, dude. This 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 art. Just like bite. Look at that. Like that just is sick. Like that's the one thing I was looking forward to. Sick art. See like they fill in the background like right here on this first one. At least they fill it in under. Uh, under. Un unlike the other ones. Ooh. Look at that. A little monochrome. Black and white. Ooh, I like that. I like that. You like that? Yeah. You like that? I like that. Uh, let's see. It's a game in here. Let's get these scissors. Let's see what it is. Thimbleweed Park. About Thimbleweed Park. A haunted hotel. Abandoned circus. A burnt out pillow factory. A dead body pixelating under the bridge. Toilets that run vacuum tubes. You've never visited a place like this before. Alright, so, five people have nothing in common with the drawn to this rundown for getting town, but they don't know that they're all going to be drawn, blah blah blah. So, you try to find out, I guess, who each person is, and this just tells you the controls and the touch panels. Oh man, man. Man, man. Man, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I wish this had more, man. Like... The art, the art in this game is supposed to be really cool. Like, even look at the background. It's not a lot of art, but, like, that's a pretty cool background. Like, that's pretty nice. And you think on top of the monochrome, you get a little bit more art. But, uh, I guess not here. Every time you fall down, I'm just opening them up. <laughs> I just literally noticed these are actually, like, regular post-its. They probably just, like pre-order them themselves okay that was a little gypped but uh okay guys that was my unboxing for thimbleweed park apparently one of the most uh rare games on the nintendo switch i have no idea why because there are other games out there but it becomes one of those things where it's supply and demand people like the game from nostalgic eras this is all about the 70s and 90s and uh it was actually a pretty cool art game like i i do run into it i have started the game a little bit and uh I like the phone book. I haven't known what it's yet known. <laughs> I haven't known what it's used for yet. Jesus, it's pretty early in the morning, but uh, I'm blaming it on more of the alcohol that I can't get these words off. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I had a fun time unboxing this. Again, I bought it for ninety dollars, and this was sixty five nine or sixty four ninety nine, and so I would say it's. It's all right. Like, it's it's fine. I like the effort that they added towards the game. I like the art book and uh, the sort of Thimbleweed phone book pages that they added to add more, uh, more uh, emphasis towards the game, I guess. Um, if anything, I love this, this box. This, this feeling of the box. You know, if you guys have Snapchat, you get that, like, satisfying subscription or whatever. And people just, like, squeeze, like, weird stuff, like the ASMR stuff. Very satisfying. This was a very satisfying box. I wish they had more boxes like this. The art's cool. Look at that. I wish. I wish. 
I wish the boxes were like this. I love them. But what are you going to do? I'm pretty sure Limited Run Games needs to save money as they're blowing up as we speak. Um, it was probably an underrated collector's edition, I would say, because I wish it added a little bit more than just the random uh, map that, other than that, you have the game and then the box. Uh, and the stickers. The stickers, the stickers are worth it, but I'm not going to pay like 90 bucks for a collector's edition. Whatever it is. Okay. Well, if you guys like this unboxing, uh, please like, subscribe, comment below if you have any questions. Please tell me what the phone book's for if you guys played this game because I have no idea what it's for yet. Um, I'm really excited to get more invested into this game because it looks awesome and I haven't actually opened the game before. But uh, again, if you guys like this video, please follow me on Insta and Twitter at Hubba I always appreciate everything. All right, guys. I'll see you next time.